Hi, this is just a quick walkthrough of the AngularJS Bitcoin POS app. It's just like any merchant app. You have your items listed on the main dashboard here. I've just gone ahead and selected item 0 and item 1. They'll appear on the left side. I can remove them if I wish. I can remove all of them at once if I wish. And I can just go ahead and click on checkout here. A modal will pop up displaying all of the items in your list. On the very bottom, you'll see that you can either pay with Bitcoin or pay with an altcoin. For now, I can go ahead and click on pay with Bitcoin. An address appears with the amount to send and the address below. On my end, I'm going to open up my Bitcoin app on my phone, scan the QR code, and send a transaction. You'll see it's been received. The motor will clear out and I'm taken back to my dashboard page here. If I wish to pay with an altcoin, I can just go ahead and select pay with an altcoin here. I've taken advantage of Shapeshift's API to list all available uh, altcoins that they have access to. Uh, so you are able to see a nice little list here below. Um, so if I were to go ahead and select Litecoin, it'll go ahead and give me a deposit uh, address there with the amount to send as well. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. On the right side, I'm going to get, uh, click on search. Here, it's going to give me all of the transactions for the default address that I have listed as a merchant. That would be just the default um, address that I receive payments in. And so you'll see all of my payments are listed here below. If I click on quick search here, I can actually toggle to additional addresses that I maybe want to keep an eye on. So if I switch to first address here, let's see, I have one transaction that was previously sent to it. So I have how many transactions were sent to it, what the current balance is, and also uh, what the total amount received is. The main purpose of this app was just for fun, brush up on my AngularJS skills, and really explore some of the APIs offered in the Bitcoin space. But with that being said, this is experimental. It's primarily for learning, and if you have any suggestions, please forward that my way. Thank you.